Welcome back. This is the second video on the dot product, and I promise you guys this will be talking about projection. I'm actually going to throw in projection with uh, something else. We're going to lump it in with, you know, some angles and just some plug and chug dot product crap. And the the, the problem we're going to look at then is twelve three four. And what does twelve three four ask? Well, it gives you two vectors v, which is two i uh, plus ten j minus eleven k, and then uh, w or u nah, is equal to 2i plus 2j plus k. And so I never write vectors in ijk form. I just say v then is equal to 2 comma 10 comma negative 11, all right? And u is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 1, okay? And then I use these uh, angled brackets for vectors. And uh, then 2 is the i, 10 is the j, and negative 11 is the k component so yeah uh, it, it, it's just less work and okay so what does the problem ask well part a asks you to find what the dot product is all right and it asks you to find what let's put this in a different color uh, part a asks you to find what the dot product is v dot u and it asks you to find what the magnitude of v is and what the magnitude of u is okay and so this is pretty simple um, the dot product, you guys should know how to do this when you're watching this video, but, and I did in the previous video too, well, you just take the first two components, you multiply them, so that's 4, you take the second two, alright, that's 20, 10 times 2 is 20, and then you get negative 11 times 1, which is minus 11, and so this is going to be, be equal to 13, alright, so the dot product is equal to 13, alright, what's the magnitude of V? The magnitude of V, then, is the square root of each component of v squared added to each other. So that's 2 squared plus 10 squared plus negative 11 squared, uh, which is then 4 plus 100 plus 121. And so this is actually the square root of 225, which, is ha which happens to be 15, OK? And then then the magnitude of u is the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, right? Because those are the components of u. And then this is equal to root 4 plus 4 plus 1, which is root 9. And so the magnitude of u is 3. Okay, so that's part A. What's part B? Part B uh, asks you to find the cosine of the angle between u, uh, v and u, okay, or u and v, right? And so now we have to leverage property of dot product number five, which I think is, uh, or is this number five? Oh, okay. I guess this isn't a property of the dot product. It's just something that you'll have to know. Okay, but anyhow, the dot product then um, of u dot v is the same thing as the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine theta of the angle between them. So, uh, so if you have u and if you have v, um, this is going to be theta right there. And so you want to find cosine of theta. And well, this problem then is just asking you to find what the cosine of the angle between v and u is, which essentially just asks you to find what this is. Okay. And that means, well, I know what the dot product is. U dot V is 13. So 13 is equal to the magnitude of U, which is 15, times the magnitude of V, which is 3, okay, and times cosine theta. Well, solving for cosine theta, then, we see that 13 over 45 is going to be equal to cosine theta. Cool? All right. Uh, Part C asks you to find, what is part C? Uh, da, 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 the scalar component of u in the direction of v. Okay, let's skip that. Uh, let's go to D. And we'll see why we skipped C real in, in a second here. Okay, so what is D? D asks you to find the projection, uh, the vector projection, and it says proj vu. Okay, so it's the vector proj vu. And what does that mean? 
it means the following. It means that, okay, see this picture up here where we, I have u, and let's say this other vector is v, right? The projection of proj v u is the projection of u onto v, all right? So what, so what happens is then u gets sent down to v perpendicularly, and then this vector right here is going to be the projection of u onto v, okay? So that's what proj uv is. And so, uh, or proj, yeah, so it's proj little v big u, all right? And so that's what it is, okay? And so how do we find then the vector projection? Well, it's the following equation from your textbook. Uh, proj vu is equal to u dot v over the magnitude of v squared times the vector v, all right? And now let's, let's, let's consider the following, right? What is u dot v, right? u dot v returns a scalar and uh, the magnitude of v squared, this also returns a scalar, right? And so then we're gonna have some scalar multiplying a vector. All right, because v, this guy's a vector, right? Okay, so, well, we already know what u dot v is. u dot v is equal to, uh, u dot v is 13, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, what's the magnitude of v squared? Well, the magnitude of v squared is 225, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because it's 15, right? The magnitude of v is 15, and squared is 225, and the vector v was 2, 10, negative 11. All right. And so what's our vector? Well, then our vector, you can actually just leave it like this. You can actually just leave it as some scalar, 13 over 225 times 2, 10, negative 11. Uh, if I were grading your homework, this would be a perfectly acceptable answer. You can also just multiply the 13, into, 13 over 225 into each one of them. Again, you don't have to. Um, this is a perfectly acceptable answer right here. All right. So what did I do? Right. Okay. So why did I skip part C? Well, if we go back to this row right here, right, where we have proj v u was equal to u dot v over v squared v, right? Notice this is equivalent to saying u dot v over the magnitude of v, not v squared, just the magnitude of v times v over the magnitude of v, right? So essentially, I just split up this uh, magnitude of v squared, all right? And why did I do that? Well, what kind of vector is this guy? What is v over its magnitude? This is something you should know, right? This is a unit vector. And so what do unit vectors do? Well, this is something that will be useful for later on, even in chapter 14. But unit vectors almost always just get, tell us what direction we're going in. Okay, so unit vector tells us the direction we're going in. And then this guy out here, which is a scalar, right? Because again, u dot v is a scalar. The magnitude of v is a scalar. So I've got a scalar multiplying a unit vector, okay? And so essentially what happens is during this projection, I have a unit vector, right? Going in the direction of v. And then I scale it long enough so that I get to the perpendicular projection point, okay? So that's essentially what's happening. And this scalar right here, this is called a scalar component. Right, so I know the book says something really weird, but this is what the scalar component is, and it's just u dot v over the magnitude of v, and what is that? And I think that's part C. Let me just check. Yeah, okay, so what's the scalar component? Well, it's u dot v, which is 13, right? over the magnitude of v, which ends up being 15, okay? And so the scalar component uh, is going to be 13 over 15, and we are done, okay? So, so yeah, so that's how we do uh, these kinds of problems, and hopefully then you guys uh, can figure out, oh, actually, I got one more video I need to make in chapter 12, which is, I believe, I don't remember, but there's one more video.